I'm here with a very special reunion. The Hall of Fame heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes, and the man called the puncher of the century, Ernie Shavers. Ernie, great to have you here. Uh, you know Larry very well. Two historic fights in 77 uh, when Larry won uh, to go on to uh, fight Ken Norton for the title. And then when he was champion in 79, you had a chance uh, to meet Larry Holmes. And uh, we were talking a little earlier, and uh, you great Larry is one of the greatest fighters that you ever fought. Yes, Larry had a very good right hand. He moved quite well. He, he never gets set to hit him because he was always moving. And um, he had an educated left hand. like Larry left hand like most guys right hand. Very, very good boxer. I knew Larry was going to be a, a tough fight for me. But we worked in the gym, I, in the gym three times together. And it was a big worry baseball. And you fought uh, Muhammad Ali the year before, and you were telling me earlier uh, no comparison between the jab of, of uh, Larry Holmes and Muhammad Ali. Larry had the jab. There's no comparison at all. Muhammad, Muhammad Ali had a flicking jab, no power. Larry had a real powerful jab, like a right hand. There was none for no comparison. Larry, what was going through your mind when uh, you knew you had to fight Ernie Shavers, a man with over 68 knockouts, 20 of those knockouts in the very first round? A very scary thought. Well, you know, I never wanted to fight Ernie because Ernie had that power. He was always dangerous. It ain't nobody wanted to fight Ernie. You know, you couldn't get Joe Frazier, George Foreman, Muhammad Ali didn't want to fight him. None of them wanted to fight uh, Ernie. And I didn't want to fight Ernie because I know he, was, you know, always had that punch and you would always had to watch yourself. But, uh, you know, after he knocked out Ken Norton, put him in that position, I had no choice but to fight Ernie. And a quick story, uh, they, they called you in for the movie uh, Rocky Three. Sylvester Sloan thought he wanted a real fighter uh, in that movie, so he called you in, and, and um, after a few punches, you hit him so hard to the liver that he went to the bathroom, threw up, and uh, Ernie Shavers was not in that movie anymore. He brought me in to you know, want a real fighter. I started boxing the guy. I said, I'm going to hurt this guy. He's small. In my right hand. He said, Ernie, I'm going to look real this Open up. So I hit him. He said, oh, God, Ernie, I don't believe anyone believes that I can beat you. Get him out of here. That was the end of your uh, your movie career. Yes, it's all over. All right. You know, you talk about, you know, the hardest punchers. Uh, Mike Tyson was offered Ernie Shavers, and he said, no way. No guys don't want to fight anybody. No guys want cakewalks in it. And back there when we was fighting, there was no cakewalk. If you couldn't fight, you didn't make it, you know. You had so many tough fighters out there. You can go from George Foreman to Joe Frazier, myself, Jerry Cooney, Ryan Lyles. I mean, we had a George Chavalo. You had a lot of guys, <clears throat> excuse me, out there that can fight and they wouldn't, and they can take a punch and they could punch. But these guys today, they don't seem like they have none of that. Seem like they don't have the desire to really try to become a champion. They just want to go out there today to make the money. But the more important thing than money, you want to win so that you want to protect yourself. And these guys didn't know how to do that. Ernie, what's going through your mind now when you watch uh, you know, the champions today or the so-called champions today like the Klitschko brothers? You know they've got glass jaws, one mighty punch from Ernie Shavers, and that would be the end of them. Well, I feel about six, seven months, I'm back in shape. Make him proud. All right, we'll do it. All right. With the Hall of Fame heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes, and the puncher of the century, Ernie Shavers, on the scene of the set of What the Heck Were They Thinking? I'm Mike Mittman for Two Sports.